Hello, my name is uh, Peyton Martin. Um, Coach D coached me from June of 2017 all the way to spring of 2019. She was an impeccable, motivating coach. I was uh, a forward slash center. Uh, she was more of the um, the post coach. And when I tell you just because she don't look like a post don't mean she is not a great post coach. She gave me the energy. She helped me give the energy to my teammates. Um, off the court, she's been so influential and so helpful and so motivating in my life. Um she wasn't just a coach. She was the glue that made <clears throat> that made the team feel like it was a family. She took care of you as if she was your own mother. That's what she did for me. And that's one coach I will never forget a day in my life. But... <clears throat> that never stopped us from working hard on the court. She made me accountable. She motivated me. And she was always there for me as a coach, as a as a family member. She was one phone call away and she was just a walk away. <laughs> so Coach D definitely played a major role in my development as, not only as a person, but as a player, like seriously. She took my game to the next level. She told me what I was. She was always honest. I'm not super big, you know what I mean? The scouting report had to be known before you even entered the, <laughs> the film room. Don't even, if you look nervous, she's gonna call on you. If you look ready, she's going to call on you. <laughs> Just know she's going to call on you. If you don't know the answer, you're going to regret it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, and she wasn't, you know, she would ask you some good questions too. You know what I mean? So, you would definitely have to read over everybody. If you're a post, you're going to read over the guard, too. If you're a guard, you're going to read over the post. you got to know everybody on the scouting report. Yes, you need to know the main, your main player that you will be going up against. Of course, she's going to ask you questions about that. But you got to know everybody. you got to be prepared for everything, for everyone. So it's no excuses on the court. It's no, um, I didn't know she was going to do that. It was in the scouting report. How didn't you know that? You know what I mean? So I don't know. I just I just know that she was a very good coach. I I feel very prepared when she did the scouting reports. I definitely did. I knew that everyone should be prepared because everybody's scared to get <laughs> get called on. So no no one has time for that. We're, you know, have a, a common ground that we're trying to accomplish together. And she made sure everyone was prepared for it. So I definitely uh, felt prepared uh, when she did the scouting reports for our team. Would I play for Coach D as my head coach? Of course. I think we would be an un unstoppable team. I think that she would call everybody out on day BS for that day. You know what I mean? She's not just going to let you slide. It doesn't matter if it doesn't matter. We're going to get through this practice and we're going to do it the right way. We're not going to do it your way. We're going to do it the right way. You know what I mean? So she's going to prove her point. <laughs> and she's going to get her, her point is going to be, you know, be very evident and everything. So, uh, of course, I would play for Coach D again. It would be organized. It would be very much, we know who the captain of this ship is. It will be very much organized, and it will be very much a loving environment. Of course, we're going to be competitive every day. We're going to compete, but it's very much going to be a loving environment. You know, like I said uh, earlier, I believe that um, if uh, Coach D were to be in a leadership role in that head, ca uh, head coach position, I feel like the team would be ran so organized 
but lax at the same time. And by lax, I mean lax to where you can be yourself, whoever you are. Because Coach D can get along with pretty much anybody, anybody. And she's interested in your life in basketball and outside of basketball. So by lax, I mean uh, from like a family, a family atmosphere. I do believe that um, it will be organized and it will be real. It will be a lot of people taking accountability for who they are and how they can contribute to the team and everybody's role would just be able to fall in place. So yeah, I, th I just think that she is a great decision maker. I think that she's a great motivator, uh, a great life coach, a great basketball coach. I think that she's a human being who cares for uh, her team, not only as players, but as human beings. I think that she gives grace. And I think that uh, she's also a very, very, very tough woman. And she's, uh, I think that she would be a tough coach to be. But uh, yes, I, I do think the, the program would definitely be ran very well by someone who knows what they're doing. Because I've always felt like she knows what, she do, what she's doing. Had a lot of trust in her. Still do to this day. But yeah, I think uh, Coach D was uh, one of the top, most impactful coaches that I've had in my basketball career. And I thank her so much for everything <clears throat> that we've been through and our friendship. <laughs> and I just thank her just for being herself every single day, unapologetically. Thank you, Coach D. Love you.